when you drive a car like that, you actually can't help becoming a bit sort of misty eyed and. All out charges and parts and labour costs. <laughs> the giant and he's the dwarf and welcome to a special Super Bowl special so on this week's episode we will be talking about the stuff. Super Bowl Super Bowl stuff Super Bowl related special nonsense the Super Bowl was on Sunday night did you watch like the two of us <laughs> um, the Super Bowl kicked off here at like 11.25 Who cares kick off? Was there? And um, I did stay up And I did until 5am I didn't sleep till 5.30 Um, yeah, it was it was tough Being a Briton Trying to watch the Super Bowl Briton Yeah, it is, isn't it? It was worth it to watch people like Maroon 5 And <laughs> Maroon 5 did the pre Game The pre game singing <laughs> Unless they did play. Lee Michelle from Glee performed America the Beautiful. Oh Christ. And then Christina Aguilera, who I absolutely hate. Um the girl who forgot to brush her hair. And sang the words wrong. Um performed the national anthem. It was a good job they flew the Planes. The planes over the top of the stadium to drown out her voice. Because it, she was awful. She just shat. She wasn't even like that. God save! Awesome. <laughs> British Elf anthem. Oh no. Anyway, Black Eyed Peas also performed. The halftime show was good ish, I guess. No, it was. It was quite. It was quite good. It's seen as. See, is there better than I thought they would be? Seen as they're normally really like techno and computerized. For live, they're actually quite good. They played, you know, half time. A medley. Of a medley of their songs and the dancers were like boogie on down yeah, with their lights, lights and whatever. And, and, um, and Sash made a guest appearance. He came out from the floor. From the abyss. With his guitar raging. I, I decided I don't like him anyway. Yeah, Brandon doesn't like him. He thinks he's. He just looks too arrogant. Oh, you feel like that really bothered me. And anyway. Fergie was looking quite hot in her little skirt. Oh, she killed that song though. Oh, she killed it. She murdered it. Um, and then, one minute, we don't understand this, right? Usher, come on. From where exactly? From where? It's an open top stadium, and he came, he came from in the middle. From the abyss. <laughs> from the abyss again. Yeah. He just came from nowhere. I don't know how. I'm serious. Then he did that, like, he jumped it's over Will I Am. satirical effect of life. <laughs> then he jumped over Will I Am into the splits. Someone isn't having it. He's got to be an animation or something, because he can't like, come from the abyss. <laughs> and then do the splits. And then, do the, and then do the splits and what? But the biggest thing that gets me every year with the Super Bowl, people pay millions for an advertisement. Three million dollars. It's for a 30 second advertisement. In the Super Bowl, Fox paid 2 million to make the advert for Simon Cowell and his X Factor, which explains why he's a celebrity and we didn't get Fox to pay 2 million for one of his shows to make an advert, then another 3 million to show it in the Super Bowl. The advert was good, mind. It was a good advert. So well done, Simon like, Cowell. If you just back together, if you, you are back. If Sorry. you didn't see it because you're in the UK or whatever, um, they didn't show it. It was Simon. Like nothing was there. Um, nothing was there, and they just slowly pieced back together like from, a the, from the abyss. From the abyss. Um, from the abyss. On a sheer And then just come back saying he's back. Maybe, maybe I do lose on the celebrity wall. Like a father Christmas. So he's been the giant. And he's been the dwarf. And this is goodbye from our Super Bowl special Whoa. episode. This is gone. <laughs> it's like a boomerang. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so hope you enjoyed the episode, and we hope to see you again next week. If you didn't hate us too much. Oh, I just realised. Why do we do this cheesy smile every week? <laughs>